You're my inspiration, you're my motivation, you're the reason that I'm moving with no hesitation. Hey, hey, small love bugs, you have now tuned in to my power recap. Guys, be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Also, be sure to share this video wherever you like to share videos and give it that good old thumbs up. And check out my other channel, which is Some More Love TV. That's where I have all my fashion, beauty, as well as my love and hip hop recaps are over there. And guess what, you guys? We're going to be having Basketball Wives, and I'm most likely going to replace Married to Medicine since I see not that many people are watching it. I'm still going to keep on watching it, but not that many people are watching it from my channel, so I'm going to switch it around just a little bit, okay? All right, so Holly, she's in the precinct. They're questioning her, and they're not really getting anywhere and Angela she's just like yo I know how people like this work I want to get in there I want to talk to her and is it me or does it seem like Angela's boss wants to talk to her like he looks like he's flirting with her but not directly I just feel like he wants her so badly I'm wondering if that's gonna be like her next hookup or whatever especially since everything that went down in this episode so anyways, Holly, she's being super sarcastic, she's being like a total a-hole, and it's working for her because they're getting frustrated because they can't get much information. But then that same boss guy, he goes in and he starts talking to Holly and he comes up with this bogus fake story of how he was in an orphanage and all these things just to kind of relate to her. And that's, that's kind of like, I, I'm happy that they show this because this is what a lot of law enforcement people do is that they come up with these BS stories to make you feel like you can trust them, like you can relate to them. And most times it's a lie. He's like, please, that wasn't that's not my story. Like when they was when they was talking to him when he went back into the back with his people, they, he's just like, I made that up. <laughs> and um he did get her to relax just a little bit and give him just a little bit of information, but nothing that was like solid and concrete. Meanwhile, Angela, she finds out that the warrant that they were trying to hold Holly on and kind of use as blackmail is no longer, it's voided now because the person, the witness or whatever, just kind of pretty much gave up. So they don't really have anything to hold her. But Angela, she doesn't tell anybody because she's like, you know, I can't let her go. Just being kind of like a crooked cop and cutting through corners. That's what I feel like she's doing right now. So, um, Ghost, he's looking at his phone, trying to talk to Tasha. Tasha's still not answering. She's still vexed with him, upset with him, and she's making sure that she is going to stay strong and not talk to him. His son comes over, but once he, it's time for him to go home, so just to kind of get some guy and father-son time with him, because his father hasn't been home in a couple of days, and there's stuff that he wants to talk to him about that maybe he doesn't feel comfortable talking to his mother about. So when Tommy takes him home, he is, she's so pissed. She's like, oh, why were you not here? He's like, I went to go see my dad. She's like, why would you do that? I'm like, what kind of question is that? Why would you do that? That's his dad that's been living there for so long. Just because you and him have a problem doesn't mean that his son shouldn't be able to see him. And I hate when mothers do stuff like that. I'm not the type to do that. Just because you're upset with the father, unless he's like a killer or you see him, I mean, and she knows what type of person he is. Unless he's doing something to harm the kids, I don't think there's any reason why she should try to punish him by taking the kids away from him. She should set up something where he's able to see them. But right now she's just in her feelings and she just wants to take everything, the whole family away from him, I guess to kind of punish him and let him see what he did to mess everything up. When Tommy's over there, she's just like, she, she doesn't even want him in the house. She's just like, get out of here. And he's like, but I didn't want to break up the family. I'm like, Dude, you're not really part of the family. I guess it's family because of everything they've been through and they kind of are like brothers in a sense since they're so close. And he's like, that wasn't my place to tell you anything. And to be honest, it really wasn't. He's, she only knows, I mean, they all went to school together, yes, but he knows that's his close friend, you know? And you're, there's, there's like a code, you know? Like if I'm doing something, I don't expect my best friend to go and tell my man what's going on. Nah, that's not how it works. Cause then your best friend is gonna cut you off forever. And at the end of the day, that's the person that you're really close with. You know, even though you're close with her as well, it's, it's something totally different, you know? Best friends, they, they always have each other's back. Even things that you're not gonna tell 
your significant other, you might tell your best friend. Uh, so yeah, she feels like he betrayed her, so she doesn't even want him in her presence. Stern, he's like literally the worst right now. He, you know how Jamie, he busts behind to make sure the club was on and popping. He used his own mon money, his own capital to make sure that things were, were running smooth and that it was the best event that night for the reopening. And come to find out, he looked in the paper, his name is not even in the paper acknowledged as somebody who assisted with it. Only thing you see is Stern. And when he addresses Stern, Stern is just kind of like, okay, but you did everything. You just pretty much trying to BS him. Like, yeah, you're, you're like the silent partner type of thing. You know, telling him things that make no sense. At the end of the day, he's just taking all the credit, and that's what he wants. He wants the black man to work hard, even though he didn't have any capital that was given to him, to do what he has to do to, to bust his behind and make things work, and then he takes all the credit. He's the face of the company. Not acceptable, not cool. And I really hope that Jamie gets things back to going, because you know that's tearing him apart inside, because he worked so hard to get that. That's something that was his dream, something he always wanted to do. And to have it snatched away like that, it's, it's freaking crazy. There was another scene that they showed where Greg, he went to the club to talk to Jamie and kind of question him about Tommy, because of course they feel like Tommy's a prime suspect in this whole situation. And he doesn't get too far with Jamie. Jamie's just being a little nonchalant, not telling him too much information. Um, and he also had looked into the books because he went into the office that he used, it used to actually be his office, but now it's Stern's office. He looked into the account book and I feel like he didn't really say what was going on, but he was like, no, no, this can't be. So I'm assuming that it's probably something where he's, he's getting robbed or he's, they're making a whole ton load of money and he's not getting anything from it because now he's getting some kind of stipend check type of situation more so like it's really a job for him as opposed to him owning the club like he used to where he was doing payroll eventually Angela she ends up talking to Holly um, oh but even before that the whole drug situation is getting crazy because Jamie's not pushing the work as fast as he's supposed to be pushing it and he was the one who agreed to take on all this extra work so that he'd be able to to kind of make up for truth be getting shut down and all those things he kind of I feel like he kind of acted out of emotion at that moment but not thinking really logically as to how they're going to be pushing this work around so now he was saying to kill off these people that have this certain territory but luckily um what's his name luckily um, Tommy, he came in and he kind of switched the plan around. They kind of robbed them on the low and now they're able to, it, it was kind of like forcing the competition to ask them for help because they don't know that they did it and hopefully they don't find out because that can be a major war. He's just trying to act and make sure that he gets things done is what Jamie's doing, but that's why Tommy is a good partner because he kind of helps him at the parts where he lacks. Alright, so now we get into the scene where Angela, she sees that, that Holly goes to the restroom because they're talking about they're going to arrest her. She's like, can I go to the restroom first? They're like, yeah, go ahead. So she goes and Angela already knows that that's not going down. There is no warrant out for arrest, but they don't know that as yet. So they're going to act on the warrant that they assume that they have, which isn't going to go far. So she's like, oh my gosh, let me pretend like I'm on the phone. She goes to the restroom. She'll try to talk to, to Holly and reason with her and get her to give up her boyfriend and it's not worth it. And then when Holly comes out the restroom, she noticed that Angela's the same woman that was there having sex with Jamie in the bathroom. She's like, oh, so you are the reason that Jamie was cheating on Tasha. You're the one. She was like, I remember. I saw you. She was like, oh, that, she's trying to get past it. That's neither here nor there. What we're talking about right now is Tommy. No, she's like, so what you're trying to do is put this all on Tommy because you're trying to get your boyfriend off. And she, yo, know, Angela looked like she was stalked. And she was like, oh, wait, so you don't know. So you're just a dumb beat. I was like, yo, she just went in. It's like she stabbed her and just started turning it. Is how I was kind of feeling. Like she just went like this. <laughs> you know, and then threw a little bit of salt in there as well. So she's like, you know what? 
you're going to get me off of this or I'm going to go in there and tell them that you're trying to protect your boyfriend who's really ghost. So now Angela's like, wait, wait, don't do that. I'm going to get you off of this. I just want you to give me some more information so that I can prove that Jamie is ghost. So now it looks like she she's just like torn because even when she was talking in the when when they were watching Holly get interrogated, she was saying that Holly's probably not going to give him up because Holly loves him. And you don't, you're not going to do that to somebody you love. You're going to protect them. So now the tables have turned. And now it's like, hmm, what is she going to do now? So, oh my gosh, that was a crazy way to end. But it didn't even end there. It ended with her going to her house. And then Jamie's there. And she's like, she looks around. And she's like, what are you doing here? He was like, you know, I'm here. It kind of ended off at a bad foot the other night. And I'm here, so I guess they're about to go to dinner or something. I didn't really remember what he said, what she said. But then they start walking, and Greg, I guess he was going to talk to her because he seen that she looked a little distraught. Yeah, she looked like her whole world had fell apart. She went in the stall after Holly had told her, and she was just crying. She just, she just looked so hurt because she's like reminiscing, thinking about everything, all that they had done, and it's like. Yo, this could be the man that I'm looking for. I might have to put this man away if I find out that he's that person. So it's crazy right now. And um, yeah, Greg, he just kind of looks and he's like, I know he's kind of like, wait, what is going on here? Like, So he's probably looking at her like she could be the suspect and why is she pushing Tommy so hard? Like maybe this whole thing. I know he's probably gonna, gonna start something too. So this is about to get really exciting, really crazy. I was a little disappointed just at the fact that they gave up that she knows already. I feel like it should have held on a little bit longer. That kind of shocked me that the information was given so soon. I'm like, how are they going to continue the storyline now? What's going to happen next? But I'm pretty sure something exciting is going to happen, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, guys, let me know what you thought about this episode down below. Um, and that's it. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.